Bob and Lenise, I just walked in the door minutes ago from Montgomery. We've been waiting for more all day long to say something. And just moments ago, he released a video statement on YouTube. It runs for nearly five minutes. And just like last night, he's not willing to admit defeat, even in the face of Doug Jones winning by nearly 21,000 votes. In this race, we have not received the final count to include military and provisional ballots. This has been a very close race, and we are awaiting certification by the Secretary of State. This particular race was watched not only by the people of this state, but by the entire nation and many around the world. Why? Because I believe the heart and soul of our country is at stake. This election was tainted by over $50 million from outside groups who want to retain power in their own corrupt ideology. No longer is this about Republican or Democrat control. It has truly been said there's not a dime's worth of difference between them. It's about a Washington establishment which will not listen to the cries of its citizenry. And the battle rages on. Together we must stand against those who would take from us our country. Now, we talked to Secretary of State John Merrill earlier this afternoon. He says provisional and military ballots will likely have no impact on the outcome of this election. Merrill also says all the votes will be certified no sooner than December 26 and no later than January 3rd. Again, in order for an automatic recount to be triggered, the outcome would have to be one half of one percent. That's highly unlikely based on the numbers as they stand right now. However, more he says can request a recount once the votes are certified, but according to Merrill, he will have to pay at least a million dollars. In the newsroom, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.